This is called Late Night Thoughts. I'm up late thinking of her name and how he couldn't breathe gasping for air and how he had his hands raised but the officer didn't care. I'm thinking about our girls and how we never brought them back. I'm thinking about the many facets of what it means to be black. Marginalized, set aside, they're yelling, all y'all do is complain. But tell me your people would be silent if we made a hashtag of your name. But the fact that I just said your people hurts me because it's become the norm and division is our reality. It should have never been them against we, but somehow we're blinded. All 10 fingers wrapped around our eyes, blindfolds so tight they're yelling, stop all your cries. But I need you to understand that it's a generational curse. It's like a lifelong sentence that seems impossible to reverse, but I tell you it can be done. It can be done when I make the decision to see you as a person, that's step one. But in order for them to see us, we must first see each other. We have to stop with the skin type saying which one is better. It doesn't matter what you have or what hood you're repping because it's in that self-destruction we become our own weapons. But we have to see each other with love, love that runs deep, deep like the strength of our souls, deep like the songs that kept us whole, deep like the melanin brown, tan, and gold, deep like the story still untold. To see the change we want to see, our love must run deep. This is where our love must live. Our love must live.